Okay, so today we're going to be talking about seventh chords. To do that though, I'm going to give you a quick overview of our triads again, just to remind you of what those guys are. So we start with our, say we're in C major, we start with our C major triad, so C, E, G. Sounds very happy. And then what we do is we flatten the third to get the minor. Bit sad. And then to get to our diminished, we flatten our fifth. So that's root, flat third, flat fifth. And then finally to get our augmented, we go back to our major position and we raise the fifth. So C, E, G sharp. Okay. So each of these notes has a position in our scale degrees, basically. So we've got C, which is our root. E, which is our third, G, which is our fifth. To get a seventh chord, you guessed it, we have to add our seventh. So C, B, G, B. Sounds jazzy, right? Now, there's two types of seventh chord you can play with a major, let's like C major position. So we've got our C major position, which is one, three, and five. We can add the B, which is our what we call a C major 7, or we can add the B flat instead. This is what we call a dominant 7, which is often just referred to as C7, as opposed to C major 7. So for an exercise, I'm going to get you to change between C major and what we call G7, G dominant 7 that being. So take a second and try and figure out what a G dominant 7 is. Alright, so we've got G, we've got B. We've got D, and then we've got F. If it was an F sharp, which is what is available in the key of G, that would be our G major 7, because we flattened the 7th, we end up with G dominant 7. Often, if you're playing in the key, say you're playing in the key of C, so this is our chord 1, which is C, if we go to chord 5, which is G, and add the 7th, we've got a dominant 5-7, which is very popular in blues as well as jazz music. And pop music too, actually, it gets used a lot. So the easiest way for us to change between C, so C, E, G, and G7 is by playing by leaving out the D in the G7 and just playing B with the thumb and then F and G. Give that a go, play it a few times. Every, every major chord, no matter, no matter where it is on the keyboard, can be played as a seventh chord. It's the fifth of every chord, so say we were playing in D, and our fifth is A. The fifth of every chord is more often than not a five seven. Okay, I hope that this has helped. Um, next time we'll probably dive into minor sevens, which are slightly different or half diminished sevens as well so for, for now spend some time wrapping your head around five sevens and major sevens and just practice going between c and g7 and then practice finding your major seven and your minor seven i mean not minor seven your major seven and your dominant seven Okay, cool. Have a good day.